This seems so weird, because the last time you were here, we were doing this exact same thing. We were saying goodbye to you, and, uh, and yet... Oh, well, that's right. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. so I'll see you in a couple of years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, this is the last time you were on, as we were saying goodbye, and now it's happening again. It's happening again. But, but, but this really is... Because I, I, I watched uh, you talk about this somewhere else, and... and right. Um, it, but if they come back to you and say, hey... No, no, this, no, this yeah. time it's my... Last time I was told, this time I was asked. Uh -huh, so that's okay. a, a bit different. Yeah. Okay. And, and how is it for you? Because next week is your final week, right? Right, right. Uh, well, I hit the road. I finished on Thursday. And I hit the road Friday. I got a bunch of one-nighters. And I mean, I like doing stand. Well, so do you. you yeah. Know, that's that. That that's the real. That's fun. So you'll be doing the same thing. You just won't be interviewing people. You'll be doing right. mo you a know, long monologue every night. But I can go out on a school night, which I've never been able to do. Right. No, I've never been out in 22 years on a Wednesday night. Yeah. It's like, ooh, it's like you're doing something wrong. Wow, people yeah. are out, aren't you? So you have to go home and write jokes every single night. Yeah. So, well, the, and you love that. I do like it. It yeah. is great fun. Is and great and fun. you like Jimmy Fallon. I think he's going to do great, don't you? Know, you know, I think he'll do terrific because, it, I mean, there really is a true generation gap. I mean, he's 23 years younger than I am. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he knows the music. He knows, like I say, when I see him do a, a dance number with Justin Timberlake, I was like, well, I can't do that. I get it. Yeah. So you just sort of, this seems about the right. I come from New England. You don't retire at 56. What, are you better than me? Well, you don't work no more, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> huh? Well, you don't got to work no more because you're better than me. So we're 63, 64. That's about the right age. And now, will you watch the show? Will it be... Oh, sure. I enjoy the show. You will. Do you watch other late-night shows? I watch your show. I watch other... You know, you have to watch other late-night shows because you've got to find out... Like, we live in an era now with blogging. Nobody ever happens to do the same joke by accident. You've always stolen the joke, mm -hmm. you know? I mean... If you do Chris Christie's fat joke, hey, a guy did that two weeks ago. You stole that. No, you didn't. So you try to watch the other shows. Okay, that's, mm, that sounds like something Craig Ferguson did. I want to do that. It sounds like something Dave did. I want to do that. So you really have to be aware of your surroundings. Right. And now how are you going to feel if you go out and do stand-up and you're watching the shows? Are you going to pay attention to that as much, or are you just going to write your jokes and do your oh, jokes? Oh, no, you don't have to. You know, when you do late-night TV, you do different jokes in the same place every night. Mm -hmm. When you're on the road as a comedian, you do the same jokes in a different place every day. Yeah, time. right. And the fun thing, and you know this, because you come out here and you tell a joke, and then you go home and you go, ah, you know, that joke was good, but I could have added this on. So when you work on the road, Monday night you can do the joke, Tuesday you can work on it, Wednesday you could, you know, you can change it and you can take what was a three or four second joke and pull it out and yeah. make it breathe a little bit. Well, so it'll be fun. And people, I mean, I think people will be thrilled that you now are really able to travel and do those those gigs that you're talking about and they get to still see you coming to them. Yeah, I mean, I like, I was always a road comic. That's yeah. what I, you know, this was my day job. So yeah. it was like, oh, it just lasted 22 years. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. I met Jay, I met Jay the first time in San Francisco at the boarding house. The boarding house, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and yeah. we were doing stand up and I was brand new and it was a big deal that I was working with Jay Leno and that I was on the poster with him and he signed it, See You at the Top. And oh, it was the sweet, it made me feel so like, oh my God, he thinks I'm going to make it to the top. Well, the top closed in 1984. <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a strip joint <laughs> right off of Broad Street. But no, 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 no. Uh, but see, it worked yeah, out. It, it worked, worked out. Because I always thought you were really funny. Because comedy is comedy. Like, I always hated the term comedian. You yeah. know, when I was a kid, they had comedians and comedians, which were female. And that was. Comedy is funny is funny, and right. that's, uh, that's what I like. Yeah, I know. I always called uh, female lizards chameleons. Chameleons. Yeah, <laughs> because they were female.